What's up everyone, my name is Justin Odisho and in this Adobe Premiere Pro CC tutorial, I'm going to show you a super easy shortcut to do text behind objects without doing intricate masking or cutting things out by hand. So if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing, leave a like below and let's get started. I've got a clip on the timeline and I want to make it clear that this is not going to work in every single situation. This is kind of like a shortcut in the best case 25% situations this is a really good example of a clip that will work well because there's a pretty crisp line between the foreground and the background and things aren't changing too much so the first thing we're going to do is actually just duplicate this layer so i'm going to hold alt and option and just click drag it up to duplicate you could also just drag the clip on top of itself whatever works for you next i'm going to go to the effects control panel and i'm going to search for one called paint bucket so i'm going to click and drag it onto this top clip and what it basically does is it starts out as a point in the center and you can move the fill point to be at any position in the clip. So you can see here, I can click and move it around and it acts like a paint bucket would in Photoshop where it will fill things in or just like the paint bucket in the program MS Paint. It fills things in until it detects an edge or some sort of contrast. So you can see here, it actually stops right at the outline of the girl and we don't have to cut it out by hand. However, we want to fill in a little bit more than this selection. So here's where we can go to the tolerance section and you can increase the tolerance. Now you do want to be careful not to ruin your selection. So for me, I just so happen to get a pretty good selection right around here. So under the blending mode, you can switch it from normal to stencil alpha. This will basically cut out the image. Now let me hide since we have the same exact layer underneath. You see it cuts out the selection, but in this case I'm going to select invert fill because I want to get the other half. And now we have a really rough selection, but it's going to work and I'll show you why. I'm going to grab my type text tool and I'll type out text behind object here. You can choose whatever font you want and play around with the settings in the essential graphics panel or the effects control panel and adjust the size and positioning to be whatever you want. And in order to get this to be placed behind that layer, we're just going to do a little bit of sandwiching. So I'll move this cutout layer on top of the text. So we've got the text sandwiched in between the cutout and now I can just turn the visibility of the other one back on so it fills in all those other spaces but we've created a bit of an invisible sandwich that you can't see as a viewer from the top down layer perspective. So when I press play, you can see at the point when my text comes in, it comes in behind the object or the person. So this isn't gonna be perfect straight away, especially if you're not using an ideal clip. It's just kind of a shortcut to do and you can troubleshoot it by animating the fill point with keyframes if you need it to kind of move from one area to the other. Make sure you cut the timing of things to really only begin when you need it to, so you don't have any unnecessary flickering or masking being done. And get creative with it. You can do multiple fill points. This is actually just a great tool in general, the paint bucket tool to play around with to create quick selection style masks. But if this doesn't happen to be working for your clip and you need something more intricate, you can check out some of my other tutorials like my rotoscoping text behind objects in After Effects, which is a lot more reliable, and even my mask walk by frame transition in Premiere Pro for another approach at cutting things out. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like on it below, subscribe to my channel for more, and go follow me on social media at Justin Odisho on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter to reach out and stay in touch with me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.